The words of Amos, who was among the shepherds of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, The Lord roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds mourn, and the top of Carmel withers. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Damascus, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire upon the house of Hazael, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. I will break the gate-bar of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Avon, and him who holds the scepter from Beth-Eden, and the people of Syria shall go into exile to Kir, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Gaza, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they carried into exile a whole people to deliver them up to Edom. So I will send a fire upon the wall of Gaza, and it shall devour her strongholds. I will cut off the inhabitants from Ashdod, and him who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyre, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they delivered up a whole people to Edom, and did not remember the covenant of brotherhood. So I will send a fire upon the wall of Tyre, and it shall devour her strongholds. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword, and cast off all pity, and his anger tore perpetually, and he kept his wrath for ever. So I will send a fire upon Teman, and it shall devour the strongholds of Bozra. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of the Ammonites, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. So I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour her strongholds, with shouting on the day of battle, with a tempest in the day of the whirlwind, and their king shall go into exile, he and his princes together, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Moab, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because he burned to lime the bones of the king of Edom. So I will send a fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the strongholds of Kerioth, and Moab shall die amid uproar, amid shouting and the sound of the trumpet. I will cut off the ruler from its midst, and will kill all its princes with him, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have rejected the law of the Lord, and have not kept his statutes. But their lies have led them astray, those after which their fathers walked. So I will send a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they sell the righteous for silver, and the needy for a pair of sandals, those who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth, and turn aside the way of the afflicted. A man and his father go in to the same girl, so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar, on garments taken in pledge, and in the house of their God they drink the wine of those who have been fined. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and who was as strong as the oaks. I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Also it was I who brought you up out of the land of Egypt, and led you forty years in the wilderness, to possess the land of the Amorite. And I raised up some of your sons for prophets, and some of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not indeed so, O people of Israel, declares the Lord? But you made the Nazarites drink wine, and commanded the prophets, saying, You shall not prophesy. Behold, I will press you down in your place, as a cart full of sheaves presses down. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not retain his strength, nor shall the mighty save his life. He who handles the bow shall not stand, and he who is swift of foot shall not save himself, nor shall he who rides the horse save his life, and he who is stout of heart among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, declares the Lord. The words of Amos, who was among the shepherds of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of King Uzziah of Judah, and in the days of King Jeroboam son of Joash of Israel, two years before the earthquake. And he said, The Lord roars from Zion, and utters his voice from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds wither, and the top of Carmel dries up. Thus says the Lord, 
for three transgressions of Damascus, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they have threshed Gilead with threshing sledges of iron. So I will send a fire on the house of Hazael, and it shall devour the strongholds of Ben-Hadad. I will break the gate bars of Damascus, and cut off the inhabitants from the valley of Avon, and the one who holds the scepter from Beth Eden, and the people of Aram shall go into exile to Kir, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Gaza and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because they carried into exile entire communities to hand them over to Edom. So I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, fire that shall devour its strongholds. I will cut off the inhabitants from Ashdod, and the one who holds the scepter from Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyre, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they delivered entire communities over to Edom, and did not remember the covenant of kinship. So I will send a fire on the wall of Tyre, fire that shall devour its strongholds. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword, and cast off all pity. He maintained his anger perpetually, and kept his wrath for ever. So I will send a fire on Teman, and it shall devour the strongholds of Bozra. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of the Ammonites, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have ripped open pregnant women in Gilead, in order to enlarge their territory. So I will kindle a fire against the wall of Rabbah, fire that shall devour its strongholds, with shouting on the day of battle, with a storm on the day of the whirlwind. Then their king shall go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Moab, and for four I will not revoke the punishment, because he burned to lime the bones of the king of Edom. So I will send a fire on Moab, and it shall devour the strongholds of Kerioth, and Moab shall die amid uproar, amid shouting and the sound of the trumpet. I will cut off the ruler from its midst, and will kill all its officials with him, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have rejected the law of the Lord, and have not kept his statutes. But they have been led astray by the same lies after which their ancestors walked. So I will send a fire on Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they sell the righteous for silver, and the needy for a pair of sandals. They who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth, and push the afflicted out of the way. Father and son go into the same girl, so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar, on garments taken in pledge, and in the house of their God they drink wine bought with fines they imposed. Yet I destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of cedars, and who was as strong as oaks. I destroyed his fruit above, and his roots beneath. Also I brought you up out of the land of Egypt, and led you forty years in the wilderness, to possess the land of the Amorite. And I raised up some of your children to be prophets, and some of your youths to be Nazarites. Is it not indeed so, O people of Israel? says the Lord. But you made the Nazarites drink wine, and commanded the prophets, saying, You shall not prophesy. So I will press you down in your place, just as a cart presses down when it is full of sheaves. Flight shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not retain their strength, nor shall the mighty save their lives. Those who handle the bow shall not stand, and those who are swift of foot shall not save themselves, nor shall those who ride horses save their lives, and those who are stout of heart among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day, says the Lord. The Words of Amos, One of the Shepherds of Tekoa the vision he saw concerning Israel two years before the earthquake, when Uzziah was king of Judah, and Jeroboam son of Jehoash was king of Israel, he said, The Lord roars from Zion and thunders from Jerusalem. The pastures of the shepherds dry up, and the top of Carmel withers. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Damascus, even for four, I will not relent. Because she threshed Gilead with sledges having iron teeth, I will send fire on the house of Hazael that will consume the fortresses of Ben-Hadad. I will break down the gate of Damascus. I will destroy the king who is in the valley of Avon and the one who holds the scepter in Beth-Eden. The people of Aram will go into exile to Kir. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Gaza, even for four, I will not relent, because she took captive whole communities and sold them to Edom. 
I will send fire on the walls of Gaza that will consume her fortresses. I will destroy the king of Ashdod, and the one who holds the scepter in Ashkelon. I will turn my hand against Ekron, till the last of the Philistines are dead, says the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Tyre, even for four, I will not relent, because she sold whole communities of captives to Edom, disregarding a treaty of brotherhood. I will send fire on the walls of Tyre that will consume her fortresses. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Edom, even for four, I will not relent, because he pursued his brother with a sword and slaughtered the women of the land, because his anger raged continually and his fury flamed unchecked. I will send fire on Teman that will consume the fortresses of Bosra. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Ammon, even for four, I will not relent, because he ripped open the pregnant women of Gilead in order to extend his borders. I will set fire to the walls of Rabbah that will consume her fortresses, amid war cries on the day of battle, amid violent winds on a stormy day. Her king will go into exile, he and his officials together, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says, For three sins of Moab, even for four, I will not relent, because he burned to ashes the bones of Edom's king. I will send fire on Moab that will consume the fortresses of Kerioth. Moab will go down in great tumult amid war cries and the blast of the trumpet. I will destroy her ruler and kill all her officials with him, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Judah, even for four, I will not relent, because they have rejected the law of the Lord and have not kept his decrees, because they have been led astray by false gods, the gods their ancestors followed. I will send fire on Judah that will consume the fortresses of Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says. For three sins of Israel, even for four, I will not relent. They sell the innocent for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. They trample on the heads of the poor as on the dust of the ground, and deny justice to the oppressed. Father and son use the same girl, and so profane my holy name. They lie down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge. In the house of their God they drink wine taken as vines. Yet I destroyed the Amorites before them, though they were as tall as the cedars and strong as the oaks. I destroyed their fruit above and their roots below. I brought you up out of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to give you the land of the Amorites. I also raised up prophets from among your children and Nazarites from among your youths. Is this not true, people of Israel? declares the Lord. But you made the Nazarites drink wine and commanded the prophets not to prophesy. Now then, I will crush you as a cart crushes when loaded with grain. The swift will not escape, the strong will not muster their strength, and the warrior will not save his life. The archer will not stand his ground, the fleet-footed soldier will not get away, and the horseman will not save his life. Even the bravest warriors will flee naked on that day, declares the Lord. This message was given to Amos, a shepherd from the town of Tekoa in Judah. He received this message in visions two years before the earthquake, when Uzziah was king of Judah, and Jeroboam the second, the son of Jehoash, was king of Israel. This is what he saw and heard. The Lord's voice will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The lush pastures of the shepherds will dry up. The grass on Mount Carmel will wither and die. This is what the Lord says. The people of Damascus have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They beat down my people in Gilead as grain is threshed with iron sledges. So I will send down fire on King Hazael's palace, and the fortresses of King Ben-Hadad will be destroyed. I will break down the gates of Damascus and slaughter the people in the valley of Avon. I will destroy the ruler in Beth-Eden, and the people of Aram will go as captives to Kir, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. The people of Gaza have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They sent whole villages into exile, selling them as slaves to Edom. So I will send down fire on the walls of Gaza, and all its fortresses will be destroyed. I will slaughter the people of Ashdod, and destroy the king of Ashkelon. Then I will turn to attack Ekron, and the few Philistines still left will be killed, says the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Lord says. The people of Tyre have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They broke their treaty of brotherhood with Israel, selling whole villages as slaves to Edom. So I will send down fire on the walls of Tyre, and all its fortresses will be destroyed. This is what the Lord says. The people of Edom have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They chased down their relatives, the Israelites, with swords, showing them no mercy. 
In their rage they slashed them continually and were unrelenting in their anger. So I will send down fire on Teman, and the fortresses of Bosra will be destroyed. This is what the Lord says. The people of Ammon have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. When they attacked Gilead to extend their borders, they ripped open pregnant women with their swords. So I will send down fire on the walls of Rabbah, and all its fortresses will be destroyed. The battle will come upon them with shouts, like a whirlwind in a mighty storm. And their king and his princes will go into exile together, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. The people of Moab have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They desecrated the bones of Edom's king, burning them to ashes. So I will send down fire on the land of Moab, and all the fortresses in Kerioth will be destroyed. The people will fall in the noise of battle, as the warriors shout and the ram's horn sounds, and I will destroy their king and slaughter all their princes, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. The people of Judah have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They have rejected the instruction of the Lord, refusing to obey his decrees. They have been led astray by the same lies that deceived their ancestors. So I will send down fire on Judah, and all the fortresses of Jerusalem will be destroyed. This is what the Lord says. The people of Israel have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They sell honorable people for silver, and poor people for a pair of sandals. They trample helpless people in the dust and shove the oppressed out of the way. Both father and son sleep with the same woman, corrupting my holy name. At their religious festivals they lounge in clothing their debtors put up as security. In the house of their gods they drink wine bought with unjust fines. But as my people watched, I destroyed the Amorites, though they were as tall as cedars and as strong as oaks. I destroyed the fruit on their branches and dug out their roots. It was I who rescued you from Egypt, and led you through the desert for forty years, so you could possess the land of the Amorites. I chose some of your sons to be prophets, and others to be Nazarites. Can you deny this, my people of Israel? So asks the Lord. But you caused the Nazarites to sin by making them drink wine, and you commanded the prophets, Shut up! So I will make you groan like a wagon loaded down with sheaves of grain. Your fastest runners will not get away. The strongest among you will become weak. Even mighty warriors will be unable to save themselves. The archers will not stand their ground. The swiftest runners won't be fast enough to escape. Even those riding horses won't be able to save themselves. On that day the most courageous of your fighting men will drop their weapons and run for their lives, says the Lord. The Message of Amos, one of the shepherds of Tekoa, that he received on behalf of Israel. It came to him in visions during the time that Uzziah was king of Judah, and Jeroboam the second, son of Joash, was king of Israel, two years before the big earthquake. The message. God roars from Zion, shouts from Jerusalem. The thunderclap voice withers the pastures tended by shepherds, shrivels Mount Carmel's proud peak. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Damascus, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She pounded Gilead to a pulp, pounded her senseless with high iron hammers and mauls. For that, I'm setting the palace of Hazael on fire. I'm torching Ben-Hadad's forts. I'm going to smash the Damascus gates and banish the crime king who lives in Sin Valley, the vice-boss who gives orders from Paradise Palace. The people of the land will be sent back to where they came from, to Kir, God's decree. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Gaza, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She deported whole towns and then sold the people to Edom, for that, I'm burning down the walls of Gaza, burning up all her forts. I'll banish the crime king from Ashdod, the vice-boss from Ashkelon. I'll raise my fist against Ekron, and what's left of the Philistines will die. God's decree. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Tyre, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She deported whole towns to Edom, breaking the treaty she had with her kin. For that, I'm burning down the walls of Tyre, burning up all her forts. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Edom, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She hunts down her brother to murder him. She has no pity, she has no heart. Her anger rampages day and night. Her meanness never takes a time out. For that, I'm burning down her capital, Teman, burning up the forts of Bosra. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Ammon, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She ripped open pregnant women in Gilead to get more land for herself. 
For that, I'm burning down the walls of her capital, Rabah, burning up her forts. Battle shouts, war whoops, with a tornado to finish things off. The king has been carted off to exile, the king and his princes with him. God's decree. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Moab, make that four, I'm not putting up with her any longer. She violated the corpse of Edom's king, burning it to cinders. For that, I'm burning down Moab, burning down the forts of Kerioth. Moab will die in the shouting, go out in the blare of war trumpets. I'll remove the king from the center and kill all his princes with him. God's decree. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Judah, make that four, I'm not putting up with them any longer. They rejected God's revelation, refused to keep my commands, but they swallowed the same old lies that got their ancestors onto dead-end roads. For that, I'm burning down Judah, burning down all the forts of Jerusalem. God's message. Because of the three great sins of Israel, make that four, I'm not putting up with them any longer. They buy and sell upstanding people. People for them are only things, ways of making money. They'd sell a poor man for a pair of shoes. They'd sell their own grandmother. They grind the penniless into the dirt, shove the luckless into the ditch. Everyone and his brother sleeps with the sacred whore, a sacrilege against my holy name. Stuff they've extorted from the poor is piled up at the shrine of their god, while they sit around drinking wine they've conned from their victims. In contrast, I was always on your side. I destroyed the Amorites who confronted you, Amorites with the stature of great cedars, tough as thick oaks. I destroyed them from the top branches down. I destroyed them from the roots up. And yes, I'm the one who delivered you from Egypt, led you safely through the wilderness for forty years, and then handed you the country of the Amorites like a piece of cake on a platter. I raised up some of your young men to be prophets, set aside your best youth for training in holiness. Isn't this so, Israel? God's decree. But you made the youth in training break training, and you told the young prophets, don't prophesy. You're too much for me. I'm hard-pressed, to the breaking point. I'm like a wagon piled high and overloaded, creaking and groaning. When I go into action, what will you do? There's no place to run, no matter how fast you run. The strength of the strong won't count. Fighters won't make it. Skilled archers won't make it. Fast runners won't make it. Chariot drivers won't make it. Even the bravest of all your warriors won't make it. He'll run off for dear life, stripped naked. God's decree.